got this fine specimen here if you don't want to blow your budget. Fantastic knives, a uh, bamboo finish block. This is made by Anilon. It's one of the knives, it's one of my favorite top of the range knives. And it's, it's quite a medium weight knife block with silicone handle, so decent weight. Let me give you all the measurements. 32 centimeters top to bottom, width is 19 centimeters. So adequate size, slanted at you, so it's aimed at you so you can easily take out the knives. And without anything, any hassle or anything, it's all bamboo wood. So recycled wood, nice finish to that. In the front, it's got the Anilon logo, registered logo. So simple, great design, great atmosphere to it. So it's a nice, superb, middle of the range. It's not too expensive, not too cheap, and it will last you a very long time. So let's go through the knives. This one I've got here is a paring knife. It's a quite sharp, 20 degree angle, as all the European knives, silicone handle. And it has to say, it's quite durable. It's not a one whole piece. It's connected to the handle. You can't see it on camera or any other thing, but it is connected with the blade. And it's very sharp. It heat treated, so it's ice hardened as well to make it this robust and this sharp. Let me give you the measurement of this knife itself. It's 19 centimeters from tip to tip. So small, decent size. Next one we have is the utility knife. It's a vegetable, quite slim, quite bigger than the usual knives, I have to say. It's the utility, it says CM utility and you've got forged knife, so it's basically one sheet of steel connected with the blade. So it makes it quite robust, quite heavy duty. And it's medium weight, I have to say, it's not heavy as it looks and it doesn't feel heavy. It feels quite lightweight. So great grip to it, good meaty size. This one is 28 centimeters from tip to tip. No, nice, decent size, gotta say, yeah. Now we've got the slicer or carving knife, depending what you wanna call it. It's got these pivots here, it's supposed to help you when you're cutting things that are smooth and cling on to things. And when you're cutting with this, it will come off easily. Nice, big handle. Nice, big blade. 20 degree angle as all the other knives in this range. 33 centimeters from tip to tip. Nice average size, gotta say decent. Bread knife now. Same size as the carving or the slicer. Not much to it, slightly bigger, I have to say, slightly bigger when you look at it. This one is 34 centimeters. Nice, meaty finish, bit more flexible than all the other knives. Very great grip, I have to say, one of the best grips. It's one of my favorite knives on this range, bread knife. This range is superb, I have to say. I like this range quite a lot. Now we've got the massive, big cook's knife, or chef's knife, depending what you want to call it. It's got slight angle to it, 20 degree angle sharpness. It's not the best sharpness, but for the bung, for the buck, it's a definitely super range. You're not gonna lose the grip, and it's got a great grip to it when you're chopping down. When you're chopping down, guys, you're not gonna lose your grip because this gives you very good grip. And when you're holding a knife, this is technically the way you should hold it, but whichever's easy for you. And when you're chopping and slicing, you're not gonna slip. This gives you expert grip. Nice, very big knife, I have to say. This one is 34 centimeters tip to tip. Nice depth to it, good size. The width is just over five centimeters, so good width, good depth to it. Nice, nice. They go in very, very nicely. It's bamboo wood, so how it goes in, it's not much to it. it you may slowly blunt the knife as you put it in because it doesn't have these fancy magnetic parts to stop you hitting sides, to stop you doing anything. It's just standard, gives you what you need, and what you don't need, it just doesn't give you. It just throws that option away and it all it slides in. And you have to maintain the sharpness in these because overall it will 
I would stay sharp and as long as you want it, you have to keep and sharpen it. Use a 20 degree angle sharpener, any European sharpener will be fine. This is analog, it's a superb night block if you've got a budget. If you don't have a budget, if you want to throw some extra money, you can go for the Robert Welsh range, but this will give you big bang for your buck. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening. This has been analog, this has been One Home, showing you of uh, the analog advanced knife block definitely great one to go for please share and subscribe with your friends and family hope to see you in the next episode bye bye